Happy Saturday. It has been more than a couple of Saturdays since I sat down here. How much of that do I want to explain? I don't know. The last time I sat here was the 10th week of the year and we are now at the, the 28th week of the year. Today is Saturday, July 11th. 2020 and I've missed about 18 weeks. I really wanted to do this every single week, but um, lots of things have happened in the world in the past 18 weeks and I found myself being just sort of um, speechless. Yeah, I feel creativity just kind of dried up in the beginning of this whole COVID thing. It's just now starting to, to feel like it's stepping back up again. So what's happened in the past 18 weeks? The highlights? Well, let's see. Oh gosh, there's so much to recap on because I want this to be recorded in a way that people, when they look back on it, will know the context of what's going on. The last vlog that I did was in early March and the COVID-19 coronavirus thing was getting started and people were starting to realize that it was going to be something that was going to have a big impact. So countries have locked down. There's been a lot of fear in this process. The schools all kept everybody at home. The kids, their schools had uh, no harm policies where they they could make their grades better with their schoolwork at home, but they couldn't make them worse. So everything was was schoolwork at home. And I think in my last vlog that I did in March, we were talking about the fact that we just found out that Zach was going to be able to graduate a year early. That still took place. He had a difficult time for a little while there with the online classes and things like that, and he needed to catch up with that. He found out that he's definitely a person that does not do well with online schooling. He's more of a classroom person. He uh, graduated, he had a one of the first, no, the, the very first drive-through graduations that I've ever seen. That was, that was interesting. I think I got some video and some pictures of that. Hopefully I can put that in the vlog here. So he had the drive-through graduation, since then has gotten a job. He works for a friend of ours company, um, True Fast Tree Service. And so he's a groundsman and will eventually be learning how to do all the lumberjack type stuff. <laughs> If he doesn't yet, I suppose he'll probably learn that Lumberjack song by Monty Python. He's making good money. He's excited about that. He actually wants to, to work for about a year. And I, and I hear a lot of people are taking like a year off in college. Many people at all stages of college just because of the whole COVID thing and just not sure what to do with that. So he's, he's going to be one of those. We're urging him to make it just a year because we know that you can, you can kind of lose track of things and then life catches up with you. What else has been going on? Ben has been in baseball recently and they started up the baseball season again. We're in Springfield, which is the bigger city in the surrounding areas here. So the teams he's played with, many of those smaller towns didn't have as strict of restrictions on the social distancing that's going on. And so many of them were able to practice a lot sooner than his team was. So they're feeling the lack of practice. So yeah, but they've, they've, they've won a few games and that's been going really well. I've taken a little bit of video of that. Hopefully I can put that in here as well. We've got even a game tonight that I'm going to. Brian just got back from a week at camp. They still had his camp because the uh, health department in our area said it was okay for that type of group size to meet. So they still had his camp. Jill and I have decided that we're selling our Airbnb place. We had decided that maybe a couple of weeks ago or so and we weren't sure how fast it was going to sell. It ended up going on the market and selling in less than 24 hours. Faster than we expected but you know we were able to put the closing off until August 10th so we're going to take and have a staycation there for about a week and just enjoy you know the house that we used to live in. It has a swimming pool and so first week of August will be really hot. I'll take the week off and, and we'll just get all the stuff out of the place gradually over that week so it'll be a little bit more relaxed than a typical move. In fact, it's nowhere close to a typical move because we don't have any of our own stuff there. It's just 
furniture. Summer's been pretty hot, so we're really looking forward to that pool time. That'll be nice. Brian, of course, is still driving. He's we've been he's been learning. He's getting better, and we're happy for that. He's he's doing really well. Oh, there's a new project I'm working on called, uh, well, we don't really have a name for it yet, but it's um, a friend of mine. He uh, has put together a team and asked me to be a part of that team working on how to help people in end of life care to document and tell their life stories. Coming up on the 19th of July, Jill and I will be celebrating our 23rd wedding anniversary. Back in early June, Ben had his 13th birthday. We had a lot of fun celebrating that. We can now say that we have all teenage boys. Next week when I do this again, I'll have much less to try and recap. Oh, my mom and stepdad, mom and Richard, they moved from the Dallas-Fort Worth area up to Buena Vista, Colorado, and they are just loving it up there. Several of my siblings and their families have already gone up to visit. We're hoping to be able to do that. If it weren't for selling the vacation rental place, we probably would have been up there already, just you know, getting a chance to go up there and visit them. Travel hasn't really been something that we have felt comfortable doing just yet with the climate of things going on. There's, um, you know, we would like to visit friends and family up in Minnesota as well. Ben will be going to camp soon. Brian really enjoyed his. I, I need to teach Brian that song, uh, Hello Mudda, Hello Fada, Greetings Here from Camp Granada. If you're not familiar with that song, I'll put a link to that somewhere in the, in the blog here funny camp song about a kid that's not having any fun at the beginning of camp and he ends up liking it after a while but it's a very funny song and that same thing happened with Brian he was not having fun at the beginning and I told him when he got back I said you know what's gonna happen with this is next time you go to camp you're gonna see some kid who's not enjoying camp and you're gonna be able to help him so that's it for Saturday July 11th week 28 of 2020 We'll see you next week.